on, let's go mop the floor. <laughs> Imagine if this is how my videos were. I just didn't cut and we just, we just moved around. We just did the whole thing uncut. Hey guys, today is gonna be a complete disaster clean with me. I've got tons of cleaning motivation for you guys. My house was seriously so messy and I had a lot of cleaning to do and this is gonna be over a couple of days. If you're new here and you want some realistic cleaning motivation, then you are in the right spot. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. I'll take you where the sun is always shining. Try to grab a thumbnail picture. We're gonna see how it turns out. Trying to look shocked here, you know? Like, wow, I can't believe that this smelled so amazing. Yeah. Okay, how's that song go? Ho, 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 I'm the man to know. Ho, 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 I come in the snow. Come to town if you are a good boy. Boom! Two. There's a dog running around out there now. Bailey is outside. Um, why is she running though? will put this in the kitchen after I've cooked dinner because I do not like my house to smell like food. So I'll make sure it's in there. I'll turn it on, let that run overnight to get rid of that food smell. Well, my battery is almost dead, so I got to talk about this quick, but I had a viewer suggest mixing lavender and lemon fabuloso to clean with because I talked about this in a recent video, the new watermelon scent. I was super excited to go find that scent and I loved it at first, but now it just kind of makes me sick. Unfortunately, it literally makes me nauseous thinking about it. So she had suggested mixing those two. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'll let you guys know how it turns out, but Hinky and I are running to the Dollar General really fast to go see if we can find some lemon and lavender Fabuloso. All right, here's my little Dollar General haul. I got the Fabulosos, but I got the lavender one in the antibacterial because I'm gonna be doing the bathrooms. And then I just picked up some more Lysol laundry sanitizer because I'm about out. Some baby wipes. Oh, and I got this for the carpet in the basement because Bailey had an accident. And so I'm gonna sprinkle this on there. We cleaned it, but I just wanna sprinkle that on there. And then Hank wanted a loofah, so he picked out this red loofah. I picked up my favorite mascara. This has been my favorite mascara for years. It's Believe Beauty, it's $5 at the Dollar General. And then we found this little Paw Patrol chair and Hanky doesn't have a little chair for him. So we bought the little chair. We're gonna set that up. Hey, hi, are you so happy I'm home? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with making the bed just because that's where I like to start. That's what gets me up and going. I had just gotten back from the Dollar General. I was cold on this day, so I still have my jacket on, but that quickly changed because whenever I get to clean and I start sweating. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. It is free to subscribe and it's just a way to support my channel so I can keep making content like this for you guys. So I did have my little man here helping me in this cleaning video. And if you watched my last one, you know that he broke my camera. So that was fun. Um, but I did end up getting a new one because it just turned out that it was not going to work out anymore. The lens kept falling off in the middle of filming. So I just had to upgrade. I was forced to do it, but I love the new one. It's basically the same camera that I had. It's just an upgraded version of it. And it does have a wider angle lens so I can get the good shots for you guys. So I'm really happy with that. All right, now we have this huge mess to clean. I am not looking forward to it, but I have once again, just let this room go. So my son plays when I'm getting ready in here. So he has all of his toys everywhere. And this is my husband's side. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on. That's his side. And this is my side. And I've got the cleaning products there that we're gonna clean with. So that does make me motivated to clean when I have new cleaning products. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tackle it and get it over with. All right, this is one of my least favorite rooms to clean because it's so big. But the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pick up all of his toys. I keep this little basket of toys in my bathroom for my three-year-old son because of course, when I'm getting ready, I want him nearby where I can keep an eye on him 
and he likes to be with me anyway. So I just keep a little bucket of toys in there and they're not ones he plays with all of the time. So he likes to come in there and get them out of his little bucket and it keeps him entertained when I'm in the shower and while I'm like doing my hair and my makeup. So those were everywhere. I needed to clean them up. And then I had a viewer actually suggest for me to try mixing lemon and lavender fabuloso which i mentioned in the beginning of this video and so that's what i'm going to do and that's kind of what got me in gear and motivated to clean my bathroom because i was excited to try that combination and i'm happy to say that i absolutely love it it was so awesome the smell is amazing and yes it's a tiny bit more work to mix both bottles and carry them around but honestly i don't mind i probably could put them in a separate container and just mix them so i wouldn't have to do that but I really love the way this smells. The smell lingers for days. It cleans really well. It shines really well. All of the things. So if you've got some serious deep cleaning to do, I would seriously recommend getting these two and mixing them and cleaning with those. And you will actually maybe enjoy your cleaning experience. At least I did. I guess it's true. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my jetted tub with those and just run hot water through the jets. I don't use my jets on my jetted tub, but because I do soak in there, they get dirty. So once a month, I will run either bleach through them or something like Fabuloso. So I let that run with hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'll go in and clean it. I am going to use this Jaws bathroom cleaner to clean my glass because I was too lazy to go find glass cleaner and I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but it did. It shined my glass perfectly. So that was a fun little thing for me to figure out. And I'm almost out of that bathroom cleaner as well. I don't know if I have any of the refills left, but I did have that under the sink. So I just went ahead and used it and it worked out perfectly. Now I'm going to turn those jets on, as you can see, and just let that run through while I'm cleaning the rest of the bathroom. And I just filled up both of our sinks with that hot water and Fabuloso, and I've got my rubber gloves on just because I don't like to dip my hands in that. And I'm just wiping everything down. This is quick and easy, and it just makes everything smell really good. Now you're playing with the big boys. Finally got some big toys. Making all your girls boil. Daddy's got it all solved. So now I am letting the water out and I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning around the bathtub, like the sides and the faucet and all of that. I took everything off so I could wipe underneath of it. And then I'm going to use my Clorox wand to clean the inside because it helps my back so much. I used to get in the bathroom and I still do sometimes, but this helps so much and helps me avoid getting in there. I'm getting older and it hurts my back more and more with every year that goes by to like bend down and stuff. So I like cleaning it with this Clorox one and I say Clorox one and that sounds like the toilet ones but it's by Clorox and I'm pretty sure I got it at Target and you can get the little heads um as a refill on Amazon or at Target do anything to forget your father's goodbye guess I I 
I feel like cleaning the jetted tub is a whole process and then getting rid of the bubbles is a whole other process. It takes forever, but it always looks so shiny and clean afterwards. And then I don't even want to get back in it, but I'm somebody who likes to take a bath. I take them pretty much every night in the winter and then through the warmer months, not quite every night, but at least a couple of times a week. Baths for me are all healing. I am going to add a little bit of that antibacterial fabuloso into this load where I'm washing the towels and rugs for my bathroom just to kind of see what happened. And I liked the way it worked, so you can try it if you want. Um, I know that I've researched in the past that you could use like pine salt in your laundry. So I figured it would be okay to use fabuloso in there and I just wanted to try it out and I did like it. So if you want to try it, it's always fun to try new things. It did make them smell good and I felt like it would just be like an added thing to hopefully like sanitize those things since they are in the bathroom. All right, now I'm just going to vacuum the floor, get all that hair and stuff that I wiped down on to the floor when I was cleaning the countertops, and then I'm gonna go in and vacuum with, or I mean vacuum. I'm gonna go in and mop with my O Cedar mop. I did finally replace my mop part of this. I've had the bucket for years, but my mop broke where it connects to the mop pad. That was in my behind the scenes a couple of video go, videos ago if you saw it. I did find a replacement on Amazon and I actually like the replacement better because you can make it really tall. It's kind of customizable. So if you're a really tall person or you're a shorter, shorter person, oh my gosh, I'm not even cutting that out. <laughs> if you're a shorter person, you can kind of customize it. I put mine as tall as it goes because I just feel like I can get more space done because it's longer. I did have to take one of the sections off in order to clean the walls in here though because it was too long for me, but I really like this and that was cheaper than buying the whole system. My bucket still works perfectly, so I just replaced the handle on Amazon and I did just wipe down the walls in there just because it is a toilet room and when you flush, stuff goes over, you know. So I, wa I washed the walls first and then I just did the floors really quick and I love my O Cedar mop. I've had this for years and years and years and years and years and it's my favorite. All right, so the bathroom is all clean, finally done in here. Love a clean and sanitized bathroom. Nothing like it, except for maybe the kitchen. <laughs> Moving on to my son's room, he was in here playing while I was cleaning the bathroom. So he's made a mess and he was pretty upset with me. He did not want me to pick up his toys, but I promised him that if he would just let me pick them up that and vacuum the floor that he could get them right back out when I was done. So first thing is I'm going to change his bedding really fast and I got him some new construction sheets on Amazon and I washed those up and I'm putting those on for the first time and he loves them. They're so cute. They have excavators and dump trucks and I think bulldozers on them. They're just really cute and I did get them on, on Amazon in case you were interested. That's where I get so much of my stuff. I also got this three tiered cart thing on wheels from Tamu. I just did a Tamu haul if you're interested. That was my last video. I got a lot of really good things. Everything is so affordable on there and they gave me coupons for you guys so you'll save even more. But I absolutely love this little thing for his toys. I was also thinking it would be really cute for a nursery to put like diapers and wipes and butt cream and all the things you need for a newborn and you can wheel it around. So if you wanted to like put it on the first floor of your home and have it for downstairs, it's so perfect. So I, that's another thing that I had thought after. It was an afterthought, but I think it would be perfect for that. And 
And there he is patiently waiting for me to finish vacuuming and sweet little Tucker is in there snuggling with him. So cute. Those are my boys. His room is all clean and he's going to go ahead and drag his toys back out and that's fine. It's at least clean and that's all that matters, but he loves having his room clean actually for a boy. That's kind of silly, but he loves it. He does not like to go to bed with the messy room. Okay. This is my daughter's room. She wanted to move her furniture around recently. She got the itch to switch and I let her do that because it's her room. This is what she chose to do. I do not love it. It bothers my OCD, but it's not my space. It's hers. So we're going to work with it. But I will say I absolutely hate the fact that it's against this wall because it, is, because it is so hard to change the bedding and make the bedding clean. So much stuff falls between the bed and the wall. I found so much stuff in her bed again this time. I always find so much stuff in her bed, but I found plates and snack wrappers and all sorts of things. So we had to have a talk after this, but it does make it so much harder for me to make her bed. So I might tell her if she wants to have it against the wall like this, then she's going to have to be the one that changes her bedding because it's hard on this mama. Okay. It's hard. It was, I almost got stuck in the bed. Okay. This room was so much work to clean. It literally took me hours to clean in here. It goes by really fast in these edited clips, but it took a very long time. And there's the plates I was talking about that I found in her bed. So she's not allowed to eat in her room anymore. But yeah, just making this bed was a chore. She also has so many stuffed animals and I have these stuffed animal things in there, but it's so overfilled that it's hard to get them in there and they start falling out. So we need to go through these probably and maybe see if she wants to get rid of them. But she's a child that loves her stuffed animals. So I don't know if we're going to be able to. And then look at this sign. I saw this when I was sitting there. You'll see in the behind the scenes when I realized that it said that, but I was like, are you kidding me? So this must have been on one of her days where she was mad at me that she wrote she hates her life. But you know what? I left that in there because this is real life and I'm not going to try to hide that from you. You know, sometimes my kids hate me. You can hear probably my three-year-old too. He's here with me and he's being loud, but I'm not going to cut that out either because you know, this is mom life. I don't really get a lot of quiet time. <laughs> And then of course, while I'm cleaning the rooms, I always turn on our air purifiers and that's what I was doing there. That's just a little air purifier that I keep in all of the rooms. I'll try and remember to link it below. If I don't remember, please remind me and I'll be happy to send you the link, but I love those. And whenever I'm cleaning, I always turn them up on high. All right, and then she had a bunch of random things in her room that I didn't want to fuss with putting up. I know kind of where they go, but it was just a lot. So what I ended up doing was getting an empty box and putting all of those things that she had strung out everywhere and had not put up where they go when she was supposed to. I put those all in that box, and when she got home from school, she had to put those things away where they go. So I basically tidied and cleaned her room for her. 
but then she had to go and put these things up. Now, I also want to say that she cleans and tidies her room a couple of times during the week, but then I go in and give it that special mom's touch about once every two weeks and like really, really clean it because she's just not capable of getting it done like me. So I am going to mix that solution up in her bathroom sink and use that to wipe down all of her furniture in here. So that's what you see me doing here. Let's go up. And then I did take everything off and kind of redo some of the stuff in here because it was looking kind of cluttered to me. I'm getting kind of tired of the decor. It's just so much stuff. So I ended up getting rid of some stuff and like putting stuff in other places as well. And I like the way that it turned out, but we still need to go in here and do a purge. We also need to go through all of her books. She has so many books and a lot of them are not like age appropriate for her anymore. They're young for younger kids. So I need to give some of them to her brother and then probably donate a lot of them as well. All right, and then the last thing I needed to do was just vacuum in here really fast. And then I was finally done and I'm happy to report a week later, it's still pretty clean. It's just a little bit messy, but not too bad. She's been doing a pretty good job of keeping it. Make sure that you stay tuned to the very end because I always do behind the scenes and this one has a lot of them and Hanky's going to put on a little rock show for you guys with that guitar. So you're going to definitely want to see that. All right, moving on to her bathroom. It's just a really little bathroom. Her closet's in there as well. I love having this attached to her bedroom though. It's so convenient. So I'm going to give it a quick clean. It's pretty easy to clean this bathroom. I don't mind cleaning it, except for the fact that it's always so messy. She never puts anything back. But other than that, it's really quick and easy to clean in here. Got me dancing in a storm, burning everything we know. Drizzling 
Lighting up as firefighters You got me dancing in your store Or I'm looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire Oh, looking like a breeze But really So how is everyone doing? I cannot believe it's almost summer break. We only have a few more weeks. Well, more than a few more weeks, but you know what I mean. We only have probably, I don't know, like six weeks of school left. I'm not sure exactly, but close to that. If that's not correct, that's very close to that. And then it's summer break and I am excited about it. I can't believe how fast it's come, but I'm really excited for summer break and warmer weather and less strict schedules and later bedtimes. And most importantly, sleeping in because I hate getting up early in the morning. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. Now her bathroom is all clean. I'm going to let that floor dry, of course, and then I'll put that stuff back down on the floor later, but we're going to go ahead and move on. That was all I did for that day. This is the next day, and I'm going to get cleaning on the downstairs of my house. I just turned this TV off, but it didn't turn off. All right, so it's the next day, and I'm going to clean some rooms downstairs. Kinsley's at a friend's house. My oldest, I don't know where she is. She's somewhere around here. I think she's going to be outside washing her car because it's beautiful today. And my son is out with daddy on the tractor, but I just heard the tractor stop. So now I'm worried that he's about to come in here. I'm trying to get this done before the kids are back in the house. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to clean up the living room like really quickly. Um, I need to vacuum and mop the floors. And I wanted to there's a dog running around out there now. Bailey is outside. I want to vacuum and then mop the floors down here with my actual mop because I want to do the Fabuloso in lemon because my bathroom still smells like Fabuloso and it's been 24 hours. So that's really cool. And it's, I just love a clean, fresh smelling house. It makes me in such a good mood. So I want to do that down here, but I'm not going to yap anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> to talk to you guys really quickly about this i ran upstairs that's why i'm out of breath to grab this out of the guest room i plugged it in there to see if it would get rid of the fresh paint smell you know when you freshly paint a room that paint smell sticks around for quite a while and it did within two three hours it smells so fresh in there but what this is is by clarifying and it uses uvc light to trap like the odors and the bacteria in the air and then it does whatever it does scientifically to get rid of it, but it's non-toxic, safe for pets, very inexpensive. Um, you just plug it in and turn it on and that's it. And it will run until you turn it off and it doesn't make any noise. And they 
gave me 15% off for you guys. This is not sponsored, but they did send me 15% off for you guys. If you want to try this, you can get that um, discount. So what I like to, I've moved this one around. I actually need to get more is what I need to do, but I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or not. And I do. So now I know I need to get more, but I usually will put this in the kitchen after I've cooked dinner because I do not like my house to smell like food. So I'll make sure it's in there. I'll turn it on let that run overnight to get rid of that food smell. But like I said, I do move it around. It, it would work perfectly for a bathroom. Um, or any room at all that you have any type of odor. This works really good and I love that it's non-toxic and safe for pets. Just wanna love you like I do on my own. So I'm just gonna tidy up in here and then kind of dust all the furniture off and that sort of thing. Nothing too crazy, but this room gets messy real fast and I don't feel like I can relax in here when I can't even walk in here. And I cannot tell you how many times I've stepped on a toy. You guys, I've literally ripped my toenail off on his toys. I Do you guys remember that? Some of you are gonna remember that. I was walking, I tripped over one of his tractors and ripped my toenail off. All right, I just mixed some of that Fabuloso mixture up in this little spray bottle and I'm using that to dust in here. So I didn't show me doing it, but that's what I did. And I just keep like a spray bottle like that around to mix things up you know, whatever my thing is at the time. So that was empty and I just made that little concoction up to dust in here. Yeah, this is what it's about when it's just you and, I and I am gonna go ahead and take my Scentsy wax out of my Scentsy. I just put some cotton balls in there and soak up that wax and then I just turned it off and left it off and it's just waiting for me to fill up the next time I'm ready to put wax in there. That way it was just already done and I didn't have to worry about it. And the stars in the sky. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take everything up off the floor so I can um, not mop. Why am I getting vacuuming and mopping mixed up? So I can vacuum this rug and um, I still love this rug. A lot of you have went out and bought it and you love it too. I got it from Walmart. Remind me if I forget, I'll try to remember link it. I'm so bad at that, but I did get it from Walmart. It's the softest rug you'll ever feel. It's super affordable. I just love, love, love it. It's probably my favorite rug I've ever had. And vacuuming and mopping like this does take more time. I typically don't vacuum and then mop like this in the downstairs of my home. I typically use my vac mop and I could totally do the Fabuloso and um, water in my vac mop, but I just wanted to do it this way. I wanted to change it up a little and I feel like you just need to change things up or it gets super boring and repetitive. So that's why I just decided to do it this way. I will say it is much harder on my back to do it this way. When I was done, I was like stuck in the recliner and in pain. <laughs> it's so much easier on my back when I use my back mop. Are the one that I just need to feel love. And here's 
there's my sweet little Tucker boy. And of course, for those who are wondering where Bailey is, don't worry, I'm going to show you. Bailey! Bailey me! Come here! Hi, honey. <laughs> Did you trip coming up the stairs? Hi, Sugar Bear. All right, and then I'm gonna move on to the front rooms and just kind of dust down the furniture that I have in here and then clean the floors in here as well. The floors in these front rooms get so dirty because it's a high traffic area. We're in and out there and they drive me crazy and there's so much floor. I would give anything to rip this hardwood flooring up. First of all, I hate hardwoods and I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I do not like hardwood flooring. It is not good, you guys. If you have it, you know what I mean, but if you don't, it dents and dings and scratches so easily it's so hard to maintain when you have kids and animals it's just not it i would much rather have a vinyl flooring so if i could do it i would love to put a very light vinyl flooring in here but it's so expensive so that's not in the budget for right now so i have to deal with it it shows everything everything and that's why i hate it and you guys can't tell much on camera but i promise you in real life it never looks clean. It's very scratched up from the kids and the dogs. And it's just, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just, I do not like it. If you are building a house and you want to put hardwood in it, I 10 out of 10 do not recommend. You took me in with open arms and I still want you back, back, want you back, back, back. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Okay, we are nearing the end of this video. I just needed to vacuum and mop in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't click out yet because behind the scenes are coming and there's a ton of them in this one and they're really funny. So definitely stay tuned for that. Like I told you, Hank put on a little rock show for you guys. You definitely have to stay tuned for that. And if for nothing else, leave me a thumbs up for him. But if you're new, again, don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching it this long. I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Leave me a comment, leave me a thumbs up. And if you really, truly love me, you will share this video with friends and family, coworkers, sisters, anybody you think might enjoy it or benefit from it. If you could give me a little share, I would super duper appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. And every wall is getting close And I don't know what to do Can't you save my soul? Can't you save my soul? Can't you mend my heart? Can't you mend my We're gonna have to clean them up, bud. We're gonna put them in your cool shelf. And then when I'm done vacuuming, you can get them right back out, okay? Miss, look at you. <laughs> can you walk with it on? Nope, it fell. Tick, 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 tick. Can you walk on it? Oh, wow. Whoa! <laughs> it's just broken to the other side. Try it like this. What's the airline in the bus? Yep, oh, thank you. It's gonna bite you. It is. <laughs> oh no, it's biting me. Now there's a baby on oh, you. Oh no, what am I gonna do? You're gonna go to get better. I'm gonna get better? Yeah. Okay, good. Girl who's going to be in trouble. Yeah, don't, don't be around my camera.
Life is a highway. I'm gonna. Oh, I can't right now, honey, because I'm um, cleaning. I can't. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, what am I going to do? Honestly, I'm going to throw away most of this. I hate my life, she says. Her phone says. is broken. Huh? Her phone is broken. Uh, yeah, it's just the case. She says, I hate my life on there. That's nice. Um, what you know he ought to do. You know he fart. I want to brush your teeth. You want to brush your teeth? Not no, with Sissy's toothbrush. I want to brush your teeth. Not with Sissy's toothbrush. That's yucky. We only have our toothbrush. We don't use other people's. So go with that back. Can you brush your hair? This one actually really needs it. No, I can't. You can't brush my hair right now because it's in a bun. You can brush your hair. That hurts me. It hurts to brush your hair? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, how's that song go? Ho, ho, ho. I'm the man to know. Ho, 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 I come in the snow. I bring you presents, but you gotta be good for goodness sake. Oh, ho, 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 hoping that it snows. Santa Claus will come to town if you are a good boy. Boom! Do you like it? Bobby song. Bobby? Yeah. Or Barbie? Barbie. I'm a Barbie girl. In the Barbie world, life in plastic, it's fantastic. She's keeping all of her, um... Is that Daddy? Is that Daddy? No. Can you go throw that in the trash for me? Thank you. Go throw that in the trash here. I'll keep the guitar for you. You, you can come right back and get it. I got a new rag and washed the rest of the toilet. I'm not gonna rewash it just for the sake of this, but. And, oh my God, I can't stop burping. And I wanted to, there's a dog running around out there now, Bailey is outside. Um, why is she running though? Oh, she's playing with her mama. That's where my oldest is. She's outside playing ball with her dog. Um, I get distracted so easily. What was I saying? Oh, I want to vacuum and then mop the floors down here. I'm gonna try to grab a thumbnail picture. We're gonna see how it turns out. I'm gonna put my face in pictures, but trying to look shocked here, you know? Like, wow, I can't believe that this smelled so amazing. Hopefully one of those works. <laughs> They really do smell amazing. <laughs> 